Hi Maker, this is Claire from Eclair Makery and today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet the pine tree stitch. This is a fun woodsy crochet stitch pattern that uses intarsia or tapestry crochet to create these fun textured trees that would be awesome to add to sweaters, towels, or anything else that you want to add it to. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video so I know that you're excited about this stitch tutorial and we'll go ahead and jump right into learning how to crochet this stitch pattern. To make this stitch pattern, you're going to need a couple different colors of worsted weight yarn. I've got a green, a cream, and a brown here. This one will be my stump color, this will be the leaves, and then this is my background color. You can of course use any weight of yarn or any colors of worsted weight yarn to make this stitch pattern. You'll just want to make sure that your crochet hook matches up with the yarn that you're using so that you can meet the gauge for the pattern. You'll, If you're using a worsted weight yarn, you'll also want to use Use the size J six millimeter crochet hook so that you can meet the gauge for the stitch pattern and you can follow along with the tutorial using the written pattern on my website at the link in the description which includes a graph for all of the color work. To start making the pine tree stitch you are going to want to start with two rows of 21 half double crochets. This is going to be a good base for you to start working the stitch off of and then you can make this piece as long as you want. I will have the swatch pattern of course available for free on my blog and with the chart for this pattern as well. So for this third row what we're going to do is we are going to chain two then we're going to turn our work and we are going to do one half double crochet but instead of finishing the stitch uh, we're going to do one, two, three, and four half double crochets. But on this last one, what we're going to do is we are going to switch to our brown yarn and then start doing our first front post um, double crochet. This is going to be the base of our tree, so it'll be the tree trunk, and we are going to do that by yarning over, then coming down to the post of the next stitch, so from the previous row, we're going to insert our hook around the back of that post, and then we are going to do a double crochet around that. But instead of finishing the stitch off with the brown yarn, we are going to switch back to the cream and then we are going to, if you um, don't want to carry your yarn, you don't have to. I am going to carry my yarn as I do this stitch across so that I can get the, um, so I can have another tree over there and um, if you're making this swatch, um, an easy way to tell where you're going to put the next tree trunk is just count four stitches over and then do it in the fifth stitch. So I will put my second tree trunk right here and then once you do that then I'll show you how the next row goes. So now on this next row we are going to start adding in the first part of the tree. So we are going to chain two and turn and then just do one stitch in the white and then switch pull your yarn to the back of your work. Make sure the ends um, and strands of your yarn are always in the back of your work so it doesn't get um, sloppy up in the front. And then pull through to switch colors to the green. And then we are going to do three double crochet in the green here. So one, two, and then three, and on that last yarn over, we are going to switch to the brown yarn again, pull that yarn tight, and then we will do a back post double crochet, so you go from the front, so you go flip this over, go to kind of the front of the work, and then we are going to insert our hook around the post of that stitch just like this. And then do our front post, or back, <laughs> this will be a back post double crochet. And then switch back to the green yarn. And then 
do one, two, and three stitches and then switch back to the green and repeat the same thing on the other tree and it will look like this. Once you have that second tree done, then we're gonna go to the next row, which is a similar um, row to what we just did. We're gonna chain two and turn, but instead of just doing one half double crochet, we're gonna do two half double crochets in the white before we switch to the green yarn to do the pine tree part. And then we are going to do two half double crochets before we have the tree stump in there. So do one and two and then switch to the brown yarn. Then crochet around that post of the tree that we just did. And then switch back to the green and do two more before we switch to the white again. And then the next row is similar to what we just did in the last row and in this one too, where, but we will be doing a one, we'll do one green stitch there, one green stitch here, and then the brown stitch in the middle. So we are decreasing the amount of green stitches while keeping the same amount. So we just make the white stitches go in a little bit further. And then once you do that, then we will do the green front post triple crochets. On this next row, after you have done those few rows with the green, we are going to add our front post triple crochets to the tree. So you will start by chaining two, then turning, then doing one, two, three, and four half double crochets. And on that last one, we will switch to the green and then we will do our front post triple crochet two together. So you'll start that by yarning over twice. Then we are going to go down here to that first row where we included the green yarn and we are going to crochet around the post of this first green stitch that we did. So you'll bring your hook all the way down there and then insert it around the post like what we did with that front post double crochet. Then you yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Whoops, I lost that there. Got to do that again. So then you come down to this third stitch, insert your hook around the post of that stitch, then you yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through another two loops. And then we are going to skip over here to the third stitch on the left side of the tree. And we are going to do the same exact thing. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then on that last one, you before you yarn over and pull through those, we are going to switch back to the white and finish off the stitch like that, pulling that yarn tight. And then we will go and start doing some half double crochets across to the other tree. So if you would like to um, keep going on this stitch, you will just repeat these rows that we just did here. So you can add more triangles to your pine tree or you can just have it end like this and then that can be your complete pine tree there. So it's really up to you what you want to do and you can really make it um, however big or however small that you want to but this is just how you do the entire pine tree stitch with 
this set of repeats. And you can also customize how the tree trunk looks if you would like to have this brown centerpiece actually just be green so that the um, trunk of the tree does not show through, you can do that. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this crochet stitch tutorial video. Once you're done with your swatch, if you'd like it to be six inches by six inches, it will end up having these four pine trees on it. But of course, if you want to add more pine trees on here by lowering them or doing anything else, you can totally customize this swatch to be exactly what you want or add it to any crochet pattern that you'd like to. I can't wait to show you all of the fun upcoming stitch tutorials here on my channel as well as on my blog so that you can become a master of color work crochet. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time!